Welcome back to Sunster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play Legendary Hoplite. Now, this game is um, tower defense plus RPG. I don't want to call it a faith defense than tower defense, but it doesn't really matter. But it has some sort of RPG elements, which is quite fun. So let's start. We are going to go from the beginning, even though I've already played a little bit, just so we can kind of show it off well. So we'll go, uh, mostly so I can show off the story. The beginning of the war. The scout skeleton soldiers suddenly appeared and killed many villagers outside the city gate, marking the beginning of the war. So let's go. I wonder if mother is happy in the underworld. Hope tonight is a peaceful night. Help! Help! Help us, please! The skeletons have killed many villagers! The old lady must be enile. The skeletons are very deep in the ground. Could they be holding weapons and killing? They're coming! Care for yourself! Oh gods, why punish us like this? Haha, <laughs> gods. I'm only in the temple. They won't hear you here. Get some rest, old lady. You seem exhausted. Captain, there is a stranger approaching the city gate with a weapon in hand. Blow the horn now! Alright. The stranger is a skeleton! Oh my, that old lady was telling the truth. What kind of enemy is this? Do they even know how to speak? You have trespassed the land of Ithaca. Identify yourself or else. Skeleton's like, nah. All right. So we're going to take them down. So the way you take them down is that you click S on your, um, on your keyboard and you throw these spears. <laughs> kind of fitting S for spears. And um, on the left, this is costing me stamina every time I throw it. And obviously I have to kind of move around to try to drop them all before they kill you. And then I'm clicking uh, A and D to move around. You can also hold S, which is pretty cool, but it might cost you a bit more stamina because you'll be wasting spears. I need to, okay, so you can rest. If you stop moving for four seconds, the stamina will go back much, much faster. So this is something you want to do in between waves so that you can gain stuff. Now, now notice the stuff on the bottom. I've already unlocked a lot of stuff. So here, these things on the left are my abilities. So I can use Q. Oh, Q doesn't do anything, sorry. I can use E. It sort of throws this boomerang. And then the S thing is kind of weird. The S thing kind of makes me shoot at enemies that are like very much nearby. I'm going to show you, but it doesn't actually do anything if they're far away. Essentially, I'm switching from the spear to the sword. And so it's kind of useless at this point. Now, on the right, you have... Uh, units that you can play so essentially uh, they want me to do it so i'll do it here is sort of like your army points and you can use your army points to place these units and they will protect that particular way now this barrel uh, this unit so this was the first unit this thing here is this phalanx unit you can also throw a barrel and the barrel stun enemies but honestly the, the barrel is like really bad i don't really either am i like doing it wrong or I'm like completely misunderstanding how you're supposed to use it because it's terrible. Like I I'm gonna show it off. Like, okay, I throw this here, okay, right? So it's gonna stun them, but it's like, you can only throw it on the bottom half of the screen. And if they're already in the bottom half of the screen, the barrel isn't gonna save you. You need an actual unit like this. So it's kind of weird. I, I don't like the barrel. I feel like they have to be stronger or they have to be allowed to throw it like maybe up to this distance. Otherwise, it's just completely useless in my opinion. Also, it is such a short amount of time that it's applied that it's only, it only works like maybe three, four skeletons, then it's done. It just, it doesn't feel good to me. Captain, the enemy this time is more heavily armed. All right, now you're going to be meeting a different types of enemies. So, for example, this is... Um, Sort of like a slightly stronger, well, actually no, this, yeah, this is a start, slightly stronger enemy. The worst enemies are like when they carry like this spear, because they can do heavy damage. And when they can do that, they will be able to destroy your people quite strongly. But we're going to meet different types of enemies also like other than skeletons. So we want to be careful about those. I like to stand in the middle here. Yeah, so this time they use spears. Now also these abilities, what's really cool is that these abilities are affected based on the items that you have. So as you're going to be able to see once we sort of finish this particular combat, we'll be able to jump to the main screen where we can pick our own items. 
and the items affect your ability so i had a different spear previously and um what they allowed me to do is sort of like throw in this sort of like i guess like a circle shape so i could essentially be attacking multiple lanes at once at a time and that was quite good the the eating the boomerang kind of does that here as well but um yeah you can you can do it as well also you can call for a wave early if you call for a wave early you will gain more sort of like army points that you can use to gain more units let me just throw the boomerang here now we actually can't beat this because this is the final wave and the part of the story is that you're not going to be able to beat this so uh well i mean yeah yeah after nothing they'll break through the gates maybe we should ring the bell to call for more reinforcements from other camps only praying to the gods that this tribulation may pass we beseech the suffering zeus to save us why don't you stay in the city and come come cut here what um I guess hide out there. No, God will save us now. Turns out God will save us, baby. Young man, you don't believe in gods, do you? Who are you? I'm Gaia, mother of all things. Zeus you have invoked is only one of my descendants. By the grace of Gaia. So you can tell me what is invading us? These soldiers come from the underworld, the domain of Hades. They attacked the Taka for a purpose, not an invasion. The attacks will continue and become larger and larger. It will spread throughout the whole of Itaka. Those are just spontaneous skeletons. Why are you helping us? I love every living thing on this earth, all equally. I will not interfere with everything if it follows the laws of nature. Skeleton soldiers don't belong in this world. They broke the rules. So you can help us get through this tribulation? These beings are from the underworld, Hades people. So I will not interfere, but I can bestow you with enchanted weapons to fight this calamity. There will be many more waves of monsters coming soon. Never wielded an enchanted weapon before and I don't even know what it is. Then I shall teach you now. Take this spear as a gift from me. Alright, so we finish this up. All right, we're going to go back to town and I'm going to show you this stuff. So here you can see you can see your upgrade three so essentially we are getting these points and we can use them to upgrade our units but any upgrade costs 100 so we can't do it quite yet and then here we can see the abilities that we have or that we um can like have for the character that we can gain and then here we could get upgrade for the other units you can also jump to Alright, so here you can see our items. So currently we have the full helm on and each of these items gives you some abilities. So this spear, for example, remember the ability I showed you that we couldn't cast, like the blue one? It's because it is auto cast. So this is what we get from the heavy spear. And essentially after touching the target, it will emit three damage fragments. So you can hit up some enemies this way. Then we have a sword, which also has an auto cast and the shield throw, which is kind of like the boomerang thing. I also have this single edged sword, so I'm going to take that instead. And this is going to give me the ability to decapitate quickly slash to the front. All enemies hit have 50% chance to be executed. And we're going to jump. Oh, and also, sorry, there are also here points that I could use to increase my strength, agility or endurance. So that's something to keep in mind as well. All right. So we're just going to continue with the next level. So level two. An outnumbered wave of skeleton soldiers attacked the city gates. At the same time, the wild wolves at the western edge of the forest, as if they had been trained before, joined the battle. Right? Now, these barrels are something that we actually gain at, I think, the next level. And what they essentially do is they, they sort of stun the enemies, they throw some damage down there, but they are very, um, they are very, uh, um, all right, so. Uh, we also have these barrels, so what these barrels do, they sort of stun enemies, they like place poison on the ground and then stun the enemies there, but they are, um, I don't like them, I don't feel like they're very good, it just, because you can only throw them at like the bottom of the screen and they stay there for a very short amount of time, so I just feel like 
they don't really do much. I don't know, maybe I'm just like not using them, right? I'm not sure. But if you're wondering why I have an, a different ability, so I kind of uh, had to record this video in two parts. So uh, hopefully I'm not repeating myself from whatever I said in the first part. Essentially, we, we uh, swapped some of the items. Actually, I might have showed you the item swap. I think I showed you item swap. Yeah, I think I did that. And uh, in, in the video and and so this is why we have different um setup also this first ability the extra damage is only active when the enemy is like straight up near me so that means that we do a lot more damage if we let them like straight up come to me but obviously we don't ideally we don't want that to happen so but i'm uh, we, we gotta kill this guy also i can click this r this is the ability that i get from my helm so it wasn't activated this before we needed to get far enough to be able to activate it uh, in the next level and then uh but yeah n now we can use it here as well because I i'm showing you uh, the levels that i've already played so and again apologies if, if i'm saying something already said because uh, i did this video in two parts i'm not actually sure what i've said and what i haven't so If you completely run out of stamina, your character has to recharge. So this is going to take quite a while. So you want to be careful about that. All right, so I can use the decapitate, which really hits them up quite a lot. We'll call the next wave. Oh, we can't call it early because, okay. Now this blue thing is showing you, I believe, like how many enemies from that wave has already spawned. So that you can tell like how much more difficult is this wave going to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that the point for the, for the barrel is that you're just supposed to sort of let them come real close to you. And then when they're down here, because that's when you do a lot more damage because that's how your spear works and your other abilities as well. That's when you'll... Um, that way you'll be able to do more damage, but it's it's just really difficult because typically there are a lot of positions where you have to be at the same time, so it's quite hard to get there. So yeah. Let's use the boomerang. Yeah, that was a really good use of the boomerang. Alright, so this was okay. Again, we'll call the next wave a little bit early and we'll stop moving so that we can recharge all of our, all of our stamina. And let's go. Let's see how well we can do. Ooh, the boomerang was real nice. Let's place another uh, set of phalanx unit over there. I do like this extra ability. Allows us to go a lot faster. I think, again, I'm just gonna call for the extra. I know I'm doing it a lot early, but because it gives me that extra points, it kind of allows me to really. You know, like to, to get more of these standing units, which I quite like. There's another set over there. There's another boomerang.
I'll call for the last way, I guess. Have yeah, we done some nice damage here? Now it does seem like if you have these two waves that the guys behind don't hit. Which is a little... Oh wait. Now they do hit. Okay, I wasn't sure. They do hit, so that's fine. Um, we don't really... I guess I could place the barrel there. Ooh. Oh, whoa, whoa, decapitate. Okay. We were a little bit in trouble over there. Have we made it? So yeah, so if you run out of stamina, you're gonna be in real trouble. So we gotta wait. So that we can destroy this in a moment, yeah. I think that's fine. So at this point we'll just run here and we'll use our ability. Because everywhere else we've got people, it's just this wave that's kind of... This column is kind of empty. I like the boomerang, I think the best, like, abilities-wise. Some people over there. Well, I'm gonna stand still, let them come to me. I think I can handle it. Also, I can literally just place another wave unit there, so we should be fine. She's. Ooh, okay. You're in trouble? Ah, we ran out of stamina. I hate that. Okay, come on, come on! Just let me use my thing! Jesus, okay. Yeah, we. I wasn't able to recover my stamina fast enough. But we still made it! Ooh, we've got some stuff. So sometimes you get stuff even if you do this like again. So this is kind of interesting. And I think it's just to help you out because it can be quite tough sometimes. So this shield. Shield Bash. Use your shield to smack 110 physical damage and apply stun in 4 seconds to all enemies in the area of effect. This is actually not great because this only applies if the enemy is near me. So this is another thing that you can only use if you're straight up in the enemy's face. So I don't really like that. Ooh. Air Blade. Slash is a crescent shaped air blade that pierces all enemies. I'm actually going to grab the air blade because I really like any kind of a distance attack. Also it does a lot more damage. And on the helmet, increases my crit chance and chance to ignore a block. Okay, we'll do that. So I guess, so we'll try the next one. This next level is really tough. So I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we'll try. Captain, do you have been assigned by Captain Hagen to assist you in this emergency situation? Alright, so now you will have to fight with me. How's the situation here? These skeleton soldiers seem to emerge from the ground unpredictable in their tactics and attacking path. Ah, Strategist, it is my pleasure to see you here again. We will need advice from your battle experience in this war. Yes, I will fight with you against these legions of the dead. The news here has been transmitted to the capital and awaits the order of General Parvez. Hold the ground until reinforcements arrive. Captain, the enemies are coming. To arm. Uh, oh yeah, so we've got this, this new thing with the W, so we gotta try that. Oh, seriously? I hate that it gives me all the abilities that only work in near range. Like, give me something in a long range. That's what I want from you. Because this one is really hard, like, you'll get a lot of the enemies that are coming, like, real close. Yeah, so they want me to use the barrel here, but again, as I've said many times before, I think the barrels are just so bad. Very well, try to organize your army correctly to save combat points and maximize the strength in the combination between armies. Okay, we gotta go this way. I mean, maybe the point is that you kind of have to let them come so close and then use the barrel to stop them. And then when you succeed in that, I'm going to call the next wave early. I know it seems a little crazy. It's time to use all the combat skills, but it's going to give us points there and I can just wait here to, to get the stuff. Okay, so we'll, we'll use the boomerang first and we'll place the people over there. I'm actually going to try to keep maybe these middle lanes empty. Actually, you know what? Let's keep this em these lanes on the left empty and hopefully the soldiers can handle these other lanes. 
and what essentially we're going to be trying to do is maybe let them come closer like uh, to me and hopefully that if the soldiers can handle the part on the right we can hopefully handle this part on the left and if i'm not running that much like all over the place i might be able to sort of handle my stamina a bit better i don't know if that's a good choice but i think we'll gotta try to oh, okay so they can't even handle this line so that's a bit sad uh, let's use the air Ooh, the air was huge so i think the air is really very sad so we have to let them come real close and then use the air uh, let them come Yeah, let's let's move over there. Help out a bit. But this this is a really tough wave, so I honestly I don't know if we'll make it, but like I said, I will try this. That's the whole point. I do love that you sometimes get items even if you don't make it, because it it makes it a bit easier for us to handle things. Alright, we're just gonna go over here. I'm gonna get ready for the W. Okay, I'm gonna use the... yeah, this. Need another set of soldiers there. Again, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I Oh, and we should be... wait, we, we have to stop moving so that we can use the... gain the extra stamina. We only got two points from calling them early, so that was not helpful. I guess we'll try to get the critical damage. Maybe it will help us out here. I wonder if I should try to save up for the barrels, but I really don't like the barrels. Then again, maybe that's the reason why I'm not winning this level, because I'm not utilizing the barrels. I'm just gonna place another set of guys there. Let's use the boomerang to help out. Okay, we gotta kill this guy, and then I wanna focus on this wave here. We need to help them out. I'm gonna place another set, I don't know. We'll place one here, even though this is technically the side that we should be taking care of. Okay, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. We gotta let ourselves gain our, our stamina, otherwise we're dead. So I'm gonna use a boomerang here and hope, hope that it will help me out. And we'll set another set of soldiers over here. Okay, here. You gotta start hitting them up. You let that one go through, which is not great. Okay, we send somebody there. Yeah, see, like, it's it's just... It's just so many, I don't know how to... And we're, we're running out of stamina so fast. Yeah, we run out of stamina, so we're gonna... We're gonna die. Okay. Ah, come on. Okay, we're not dead yet, but considering that this is only way four... I think we're, yeah, we're dead. We got more stuff though. Anyway, I think we're gonna end the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, run down the comments and you can click on the right to watch some other games that you found this channel. I'll see you there. Bye bye.